Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. Today is January the 5th of 2020. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to read from Romans chapter 8, starting from verse 26, and we'll take it from there. In the same, we're going to read this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the same way, the Spirit also joins to help in our weaknesses, because we do not know what to pray for as we should. But the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with unspoken groanings. And He who searches the hearts knows the Spirit's mindset. Because he intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We all we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, so that he would be the firstborn among many brothers. And those he predestined, he also called, and those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He did not even spare his own son, but offered him up for us all. How will he not also with him grant us everything? Who can bring an accusation against God's elect? God is the one who justifies. Who is the one who condemns? Christ Jesus is the one who died, but even more has been raised. He also is at the right hand of God and intercedes for us. Glory be to God. We'll leave it at that. My brothers and sisters, remember this. Make this your word. My fellow brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, whatever you're going through, remember, and those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. If you truly understand that justice was done at the cross at Calvary, Christ being crucified unjustly, in an unjust manner for a crime he never did, for sins he never committed. He gave us his justification. He gave us his righteousness. He gave us his strength. He gave us his health. He gave us his richness so that he took our sin, our injustice, our disease, our sickness, our wrongs, our transgressions. So let us just recognize that what Christ did on that cross, the way Christ died, the way Christ suffered, the way Christ gave up everything, he could, he could have had it all, but he gave it all up so that through his spirit, through believing in his death and resurrection, we receive the justification in our life. And the deeper we study this, the deeper we understand, and the deeper we believe in this, it will come to pass in our life. To all my fellow targeted individuals, stay strong, have hope, and believe on Jesus Christ in the justification through his death.